Hi viewers, we welcome you to today's episode of Talk Active. And you know how we do it. We keep it real, we keep it 100. And also, to tell you one thing, we are listening to your comments on Facebook, on YouTube, and then you guys have been talking about speaking English. So, you know, it's about our thing. And our thing means that we put our language, our culture in it. So, We'll be mixing it up a little bit of English, a little bit of our own dialect to get everything together. Uh, on today's episode, we'll be talking about religion. What is religion to all of us? And why is religion being so over overrated in Africa that we are going extra miles to show that we are religious? And we are doing it in a way that we are not keeping uh the tabs the the, the truths of what we are actually trying to show the people so today that we have two guests that will be talking on this topic but my right hand is my brother Ariza, and he's a he's actually a teacher and a good one at that <laughs> Ariza, how are you say hello to the hello, viewers i'm fine i'm good i'm very fine all right and on my left hand we have uh vincent he's a he's <laughs> <laughs> this guy can finish the whole show alone, so I don't want to talk more about him. So, listen, say hello to the viewers. Hello, yes. <laughs> All right, so on this topic now, you know that uh, religion as a whole it intends the traditional way, the Christianity, uh, the Muslim. And the thing about Africa is that we always take everything to the extreme, we always go extra. So what's the problem? What's the cause of this extra? Like, when we come to church, we overdo them. Yes. When we come to mosque, we overdo them. If you come, if you come talk about bad, about anything Islam, you see them, the, the, we Africans are always trying to do more extra than the people that gave us the religion. Why is that so? Okay, first of all, before we go further, we have to understand what is religion. Yes. So we say that religion is the belief of people, not someone. A belief of a group of people to a supreme deity they call God. Now, that supreme deity is a spiritual supreme deity. Most at times, people can see theirs in the traditional settings. They have their, it's not that that oracle or whatever they build there is the supreme deity. It's just a picture a of, yes, yeah, a symbol, a picture of what they believe in. Yes. Now, if you want to understand religion to an African man, you, have, you, have, you should understand an African man first. Now, there is no African culture in this world that you can't that you can you say that you can remove religion from that African culture. Right? Yes. An African culture, an African man normally is a religious person. We can take it back to the olden days. You see that our African culture has religion so deep in it that example in this present era and this contemporary era we have something like the judicial system. Yes. For those days, if someone commits a crime, he will be taken to the shrine. It will be the judge that, uh, the, the person that will judge the case is the oracle. The other is what the God tells the chief priest that the chief priest will use to administer justice. You see that even our justice system was left to the God. Yes, yes. For a supreme being. Even our, in uh, selecting our kings, there is nothing like general election. No, 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 no. It is still that supreme being that is left to, to select, select our kings. Ruling, yeah. So you see that everything beats our government, then our culture, then our way of life is has religion in depth in it. So what, what do I want to say about this? Is that an African man is more of a religious person. He believes so much in what in a supreme being to handle his affairs for him. That's why. That nature is in it, it's inside. It's not something that you can take away from an African man. True. It's not something True. that you can take away from him. Yes. You cannot take an you can you can some even some African man, you cannot even differentiate him and his being. For example, if you see a traditional African man, if you look at his hand, you won't see his beads. His beads, his neck. He's carrying only like if to bring it to you, but we say that only a butchi I get bob no naga. Yes. He is only always with his chi. Yes. He has his chi always with him. Now, to differentiate an African man from his religion is hard. It's not that we are extreme. It's something like our nature. It's All right. Yeah. All right. So, 
I, I understand your point. Now, Vincent, what do you have to say about this topic? Because this topic is very interesting and you've been talking about a lot about this topic. Um, yeah. The truth is that when you want to talk about religion in Africa, first of all, if I'm to say, <coughs> religion in Africa is foundational. Foundational. All right. Getting me? Mm, okay. yeah. One. Two, it is acquired. In the sense? Africa, before the coming of the whites, mm. Africa believed in a religion. They believed in God. Just like my brother said. Yes. Are you getting me? Yes. Whereby, even in our lives, we have fear of God. Africa has fear of God. Yes. Are you getting what I'm saying? But <coughs> when we talk about religion, there is something I'm trying to get. Let me get for let me take for instance now. When you talk about religion, there is a difference between someone being religious, someone being traditional, someone being a Christian, someone being a Muslim. Just like you said, mm -hmm. we want to I want to generalize it. Yeah. Are you getting me? Now, when you now talk about these denominations, yeah. Are you getting me? Mm -hmm. These are different kind of people. Mm. Are you getting? In Christianity, there is what we call denomination. Denomination is division. Yes. People's way of serving God. Are you getting me? Even inside that same Christianity, there is another division whereby people has their own way of serving God. Yes. You will come to this church, they have their own way of, of serving God, of yes. worshiping. If you come to the other church, they have their own way. If mm. you go to Muslim, the same thing. Inside Muslim, there are equally Muslim churches that has their own way of worshiping God. Yes. Are you getting me? But today, religious became now the problem of Africa. Are you getting me? Because yes. one, they abandoned their own foundational religion. Are which you getting is, me? Which is their core root. Which is their core root. Yes. Where they were, where they originated from. Yes. I don't know whether you understand. I understand what, what you're saying. saying. Yeah. A normal Igbo man, an average Igbo man has this mentality that there is God. And we all believe in one God. But when... Chukuokike. Yes, which is Chukuokike. Mm. But when Christianity, when the white brought their own religion to us, it brought division among us. I don't know whether you understand, I understand what I'm saying. what you're saying. Good. It brought division among us, which became a problem. Today, people are no more defending that Chukuokike again. Yeah. Today, people are defending their church, mm. defending their pastor. Mm. Defending Dibia, that's the Adibia. Mm. Yes. Are you getting me? Yes. Not minding what the spirit, being the same deity, mm. is saying. I don't know, think I, you understand. I understand what, what you're saying. I understand from. what you're saying. They are no more living to the standard of the spirit they are serving. They are living to the standard of the worshiper, being the person that stands for the spirit. If you go to church, for example, today, people believe so much in their pastors. Thank you. Are you getting me? Yes. People defend their pastors. More than they defend they God. They can defend their church, but they can't defend Christ. I don't know whether you understand. I understand what you're saying. You can ask an average man, average uh, African man today, what uh, church do you attend? Or once they visit his family, you want to marry their daughter. Or, uh, religion is one we of the reasons the why yes. some girls are not married today. But this, the truth is this. Religion is not of God. That is the truth of it. Generally, religion is not of God. Right. Are you getting me? Yes. Make me excuse me, make me understand that point. Religion is not of God. Good. Mm. Religion divided the people. Religion can never do without doctrine. Doctrine. Okay. Are you getting what I'm saying? Yes. When you talk about Christianity, they have a law, a book, which is equally a law. You talk about Muslim, they have a book, which is equally a law. Are you getting me? Yes. Muslim has a name for this. Same with Christians. But what, what about when you come to the traditional setting? Do Good. they have a law? When you come to the traditional settings, they have a law. But that law of the tradition is spiritual. Igbos are still the only people practicing the first culture of creation. I don't know whether which you is, understand which me. Is, I don't, Their I, law is not yes. written. Mm -hmm. It's just like during the time of the Israelites, during yes. the time of the Moses. Mm -hmm. Are you getting me? Yes. They were given a law. If you do this, you die. If you do that, you die. 
Ibo sungo li ha bola aru no obodo ha. Na ba ye mo ihe bo aru. We buy that every man born in this lineage must be taught to know that this one is an abomination. You don't do it. You don't do it. Yes. We are meant to live and die with it. Once a man is born, he mago that na you are not meant to sleep with your sister. That is an abomination. Oma. Are you getting me? Yes. But religion is part of the thing that equally introduced both homosexual and other things today. Because religion is just like twisting the law. Mm -hmm. Are you getting me? Mm -hmm. Twisting the law. That is... It's as if religion is all about... Mercy. mercy. No, it's not, it's not mercy. Religion, right? I see religion to be... It's all about twisting the law to justify your life, your being. The life of the pastors, the life of the head of the church. Mm. Are you getting me? Uh, to justify your life. That's the reason why today a man of God will come and commit sin. He will use scriptural quotations to back it up. Can danger. <laughs> I don't know whether you understand. Uh, that, that one danger the terrible. He will tell you that uh, the Bible said, Touch not my anointed and do, and my, do prophet my prophet no harm. No harm. <laughs> As if the person he's talking to is not equally anointed. <laughs> I don't know whether you so, understand what I'm saying. Yes, that everybody has this oil. So, religion made Africans to see the offices of God as to, to see the offices of God as an occupation instead of being a calling. I so don't know even, whether you understand me. Even excuse me. So even when you are talking about uh, religion as a calling and uh, the office of God, they are trying to use God to collect money. Even in the traditional settings, are you mm. trying to tell me that they don't have such things going on? See, let us tell you. Eh? When you talk about tradition, mm -hmm. and we go so many villages, and we so many towns and villages, and tradition is invoked. There is tradition. Mm -hmm. Are you getting me? Mm -hmm. But and we go some villages, some places, Arugolo, Ajaneha. That is their tradition is no more active. Emeruga Ajaneha. That is no more active. In the sense that whatever somebody do against the land, the law of the land, the spirit cannot be able to go and fight the person. Are you getting me? Yes. Because generally, starting from the head, being the Igwe, mm -hmm. they have gone against the rules and regulations of that spirit. The spirit is no more active. Even the spirit has left. It's no more there. Spirit has so people it. are now taking advantage of the name of that spirit because when people hear the name of that spirit, Ajani, or hears Odumodu, Mm -hmm. Or here's now Ogugu. Mm -hmm. Are you getting me? But yes. the people serving the Ogugu, hey, Merugo, Queen, help us all Ogugu, and Oman Ogugu are the active. But because men are still living in fear of that Ogugu, of that Ogugu, the past glory, they use it to dupe those ones. Mm -hmm. If you go to the church, the same thing. Mm -hmm. That's why I told you that many religious made Africans to see the office of God as an occupation. Are you getting me? Instead if, of a calling. Even Jesus himself was a carpenter. I mean, his father was a carpenter. Yes, so, uh, even uh, yeah, so, recent, you have actually elaborated a lot about this religion. Mm -hmm. So, when we are talking about this religion, from my own understanding, is, well, like what you guys said, is actually the divisional part. Yeah. It broke us up a lot. Yeah. And, uh, mm -hmm. as it's supposed to be. Yes. We we'll talk about Christianity, mm. talk about Islam, Islam. then we we'll mm. talk about our own tradition, which is Igbo culture tradition. Mm. And not just Igbo culture, because the Yorubas, the Edos, the Domas, they have their own. Their own yes, and when you go to South Africa, the the uh, is it the uh, Swali them, Swali. they have their own culture. Do you understand? Mm. When you go to Africa as a whole, when you break up Africa as a whole, there is no country in Africa yes. that doesn't have their own tradition yes. that they believe in. Do you understand? So now my question is this. Why is religion being taken so serious? And when I mean taken so serious, like, you know, like when you see, we are in a modern day now, you, yes. you Google, you see things online, yes. you surf the net and you see a lot of things and then you see, when you come a, come across a page talking about this particular pastor, maybe this pastor is a fraud, and you see the church members They're defending the pastor, defending the pastor without shame, you are seeing that this pastor is doing something evil. You are seeing that this pastor, like what the video they showed in Kenya, when yes. where the pastor told the, the the members not to eat 
for 40 days or something and, and most of them died and the pastor was actually eating because yes. I noticed that the pastor was actually fat like me yes. the pastor was eating on a tea and on uh, because the day, you know, yes if you're not eating you can't be fat yes, you can't go fatten up so you are telling people not to eat yes, but you eating. you are eating and then again you see like when the uh, 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 let's take Nigeria for example mm. you see when they killed that girl in the north yes. because of what religion they said he said something blasphemous about uh, the, the, the the Islam religion and then they stoned him they stoned her to death actually and it's terrible so why my question now is why is our own always different okay now, why always why always me <laughs> if it's Balotelli? <laughs> why always me? <laughs> See, uh, bro, look at the problem. The problem starts from the home. The home. Yes, being the parents. Mm. Parents introduces their children to the institution and not the spirit of the institution. What do I mean? They introduce their children coming to Christianity. Mm -hmm. They introduce their children to the church and not the God the church should serve. Now, what do I mean by that? You see a parent that will come to his daughter saying, That it is most that you must marry a Catholic. Yes. Which is terrible. Which is terrible. <laughs> because so we say, because your missionary yeah, might not even be Catholic. Yes. Yeah, so you might not even be going yes. to church. <laughs> your missionary might even be someone else. <laughs> We're not Catholic, we love our church, I say. Yes. <laughs> Some will tell their daughter, see, if he's not Anglican. Mm, you see that. Our parents hold so much to the church and not to God. Most of our parents don't know who God is. True. Most of our parents don't know who God True. is. True. Now, that gives the pastors or the religious head of that institution the access to mental cage the members because they believe in the institution and not the God of the institution. Most people don't know what God is saying. Right. They don't know what God said before. They don't. What we mean by what God said before is in the Bible. They don't even know their Bible. They don't even want to know what God is saying for the future. They don't even know what God is saying now. What they know is what their pastor said. So we say that Pastor I say, my daddy, my daddy say, my daddy in the Lord, my pastor say. Now do you know? Let me bust your brain. Now do you know that most pastors are atheists? They don't believe in God. How? Now why will a pastor? Let me ask you a question. Why will a pastor open up a church? And he knows he's fake. He's doing it fake. Collecting money. He knows it's not real. Do you think that someone doing that, he knows that he's just playing mind games. That person doing that. Do you <laughs> think that person believes in God? Because if he believes in God, he will have, first of all, the fear of God. The Bible said that the fear of God is the beginning of wisdom. Yeah. He will have the fear of God that maybe, ah, what if I do this and God strikes me dead? He doesn't believe in God. He doesn't believe in what he's doing. So he believes that he so can manipulate he's just, us. Yes, he's yeah. just seeing it from the business aspect. And, yeah. <laughs> He just said, ah, look business, at customers. Business ambush, can you get Yes, I mean, go going business. Yeah, like my customers. Yes. <laughs> if I use this means. Yes. First of all, you, can, you might go to try and say that God is speaking to someone. God said, God is speaking to someone. Empty the account. Let me tell you something. Someone, he will tell you testimonies. Oh, when you empty the account, you won't go do that. Yes. If you don't Throwback to, testimonies. Bro, that, 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 there's no one there to confirm. Now you see the keyboard will start playing soft song you, you, a more, yes. you, you think god is speaking to you that you are the one directly yes. yes you think it's god <laughs> is telling you to enter your account <laughs> yes because people don't know what it is for god to speak yes for real yes we don't understand See, what it means that, yes people don't know what it means for god to speak. they will think that once they did that band and the keyboard will be like dun, 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 dun. It you it that, yes you say god is speaking to someone you are resisting it everybody there is resisting even pastor is resisting it he cannot <laughs> even see his account yes i don't understand speak it. to me sir yes everybody there is resisting it yeah. even pastor don't <laughs> actually the more they say the more they say the more they say it it will touch you yes they will say yes there's no problem that people are passing through you are looking for job god is talking to you and we're in yeah, africa ah, yes we and we're and we're now, in Africa where your, your problem is the government. Yes. Now, see, that's another angle. Poverty mm. gave room. Gave room. Poverty gave room for such nonsense to happen. Mm, true. Are you understanding me? True. Now, someone believes. So one pray for God to give you a job if the government has given you a job. Another point. If there are jobs, why pray for God to give you a job? Yes. We pray for you see someone cry. Pray. Pray, open your mouth and pray. So that you have a good leader. 
citizens because they know that politics is corrupt, that they will rig the election. Yes. So we are praying for God to give us a good leader because we know the election will be rigged. Are you understanding me? Now, coming to that room, you see that so many things is happening in Africa. Everybody is looking for salvation. They need wood to save them. You are in trouble. You are poor. Government is not helping matters. You on your own. You don't even know. For the, they say gun less case, gun less case. If everybody start plating here, who is going to patronize yes. the other person? <laughs> yes. But you can plate yourself now. Nah. Yes, you can plate yourself. Yes, who is going to? If, yes. if we trade by better, I will plate you. There will be plate. too much competition. <laughs> yes. There will be too much competition in that angle. So we are just looking for salvation. Africans are looking for salvation, and the easiest salvation to get from that your problem. That's why so many people go to church because of their problem, not because they hear God. True. Not because they know who God is. And pastors know, they are aware of this thing. It's simple psychology. I know you are poor. And I know if I say, oh boy, you will be the one who did the one who did the it will touch you. Yes. And you will be the one who did it. And I will use it to form a means mm -hmm. to do what? To do pre of that little one that you have. Because maybe you don't have it in millions. If you give it out, you won't know that it's much. I use that means to dip you out. That dupe, take that small one. Carry when can I do good again? In time, I'm not alone. 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 i am not alone i am not alone i am Let's be real. Then I visit you quick. Let's be because real. Because you tricked. <laughs> Let's be real. This uh, thing is, is kind of mental slavery. Because what? Ignorance. Nobody wants to know who God is. The problem of African man is knowledge. Africans hate knowledge. If they bring a room and go and know who God is, you can read your Bible. Nobody wants to. They need someone to read it and interpret it for them. Well, what you are trying to say is that, like, what I'm getting yeah. down from what you're saying is yeah. that. If you actually read your Bible, you know God, right? Now, if you see, I can know you through your dealings in the past. Can you hear me? Mm -hmm. Now, the Bible will give you a knowledge of who, how God, the Bible is a testimony of God and others. If you can understand how God worked with others, you understand? The Bible told us that God is the same yesterday. It's not that God doesn't change, mm -hmm. but it will give you a glimpse of how God works. Mm -hmm. It will give you a glimpse of how God does what oh. works. Now, people refuse to know who God is. Now, Christ said that, I have put my spirit upon all flesh. Upon all flesh. Everybody can be anointed, but the problem of Africans, we refuse to be anointed. We want someone to be anointed. Yes! We want someone. To direct us. We want someone to intercede. We love intercession. Mm -hmm. Please. Mm -hmm. We don't want to go straight. We don't want to understand God that we can assess God on our own. Now, it makes us to oppose, as I said, it comes from home. It makes us to oppose that religion, hold that religion, and leave the spirit that is in that religion. Now, if our parents can lead us to God and not to the church, it will be hard for a pastor to come and dupe you. It will be hard for you to be a religious by God. If you understand what God is saying, our parents lead us to church. And the problem, and thank God of what is happening now, if you notice, there is a wave now. Now, because... They led us to church. When the church disappoints us, we don't have any choice than to become atheists. You see boys, they will come out in their masses insulting God online. But it wasn't God that hurt them. It's the religion. It's the religion. Thank you. It's the religion. Yeah. It's the religion. Exactly. Alright, so... <laughs> my brother. my brother. It was the way they could say everything here. <laughs> but back to you, Vicent. Okay. What do you have to say about this thing now? Because it's like Arinza is actually telling us how it is. Yeah. What do you? What's your own view? Actually, uh, the truth is this. Mm. First of all, Africans has been from. Let me. Should I say from creation? Eh? Mm -hmm. I love talking about foundational because yes. that is where every man's problem is. Generally, even Africa. And don't worry, I'm about to talk about foundational causes. Foundational causes, foundational problems. That's another one. I'm answering another foundational problem. Yes. But 
that is equally what is affecting one both the churches both the the worshipers and the pastors mm -hmm. are you getting me mm -hmm. they know that every man's problem is foundation but the solution to that problem is not given to them because it's not their own it's not his core it's not his own it's not his program let me put it that way are you getting me yeah. that's why if you go to 10 churches they will tell you his foundation and give you solution. Go to the eleven to one. He will still tell you his foundation that the ones that did it, did the work did not did do, not do, do it, it well. Anywhere. Are you getting? Mm -hmm. So mm -hmm. all of them are working for the same thing. And secondly, people want a place whereby they will be told what they want to hear, not what God is saying. Yes. <laughs> yes. Are you getting what I'm saying? Excuse me. That's fine. Are you getting? So, people want a place where they will be told what they want to hear, not what God is saying. Mm -hmm. When I mean a place where they will be told what they want to hear, okay, there are so many, I won't call names actually, mm -hmm. but there are many churches online that I see whereby their pastors are comedians. Their ah. pastors are far from. Me. I, I, sometimes me. I understand. I, I try me, to ask me, myself. Me, wait, wait, I try wait, to wait, ask wait. myself. <laughs> can, I make, can I understand you, sir? Okay. Can I understand you? Okay. What do you mean by their pastors are comedians? Yes, they're playing games. They're young. I believe Google and Google search experiences online most times. They're not on Facebook. And yes, and you are seeing the miracles and everything. Me, sometimes you start laughing. Mm -hmm. Is this a church? Mm. Don't be surprised. Even the Bible has told us that a day like this will come. We yes. are not surprised. Yes. Are you getting it? Yes. Listen, let us tell you. Eh? Mm -hmm. The reason why myself is not surprised is because I have gone through the scripture to and fro and understood what the scripture is saying. Mm -hmm. That on the last days, knowledge shall multiply. Mm -hmm. Are you getting me? Yeah. The people of the negative will multiply in their knowledge. That of the, the positive will multiply in their own ways. Mm -hmm. In the church, there are good ones, there are bad ones. Mm -hmm. Are you getting me? Yeah. But the truth of the matter is, what do the people want? Yes. What do they want? They the can objective. never go to a church whereby they will be taking step by steps on what to do to tackle their problem. Just like my brother said, they want a man that will intercede for them. They can't do the work themselves, it's not true. They want that man that has paid a price that can intercede for them. Then why wouldn't that man collect money from you? After he must have <laughs> suffered for years doing fasting and Afuago. prayer. Afuago. Yeah, he, will come come and, eh? he will come and tell me yeah. that's no, he won't come. Why won't he collect money from you? He's the one that paid yeah. the but, price. But the thing is that, listen, but the thing is that, uh, you know, in the Bible, mm, mm. they said Jesus fasted for 40 days and yes. 40 nights. Exactly. And Jesus was going yeah. around doing good. These pastors, are they going around doing good okay. or are they going around robbing us? Okay, let me tell you something. It's not just, uh, but listen, we are, we, are, we, are, we are now down to making it like if yes. it's only Christians. Yes. The traditionalists, actually, even the Dibias, do you understand? The diviners, the seers, they are actually going around robbing people because I have this friend that actually went to somewhere, you know, for jazz and everything and then... Uh, he went there for money ritual. <laughs> Let's be honest. And then he went to, you know, get things working for him. And when he gets there, they told him to bring this, bring that. He decided to pay, you know, because he has the money, the two one that he has saved up. And after doing the ritual and everything, things went from 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 bad to worse. They started going backwards. And he told me that nah. <laughs> But when he decided to understand life as it is, and you know that the spiritual is not governed by anybody, the spiritual governs the physical, yes. he started doing well for himself. And he saw that that thing that he went there for, now, now all fake. <laughs> Mika will tell you that it's all fake. Yes. You know, <laughs> there is something my brother said. Mm -hmm. The problem of we, you <coughs> see, Africans generally, is knowledge. Mm -hmm. Even the Bible said it. Hosea mm -hmm. 4 6. Mm -hmm. That my people perish because, because of, of, lack of knowledge. Lack of knowledge. Mm -hmm. Are you getting me? You will, see a man, Bible, uh -huh. mm -hmm. you will see a man today that God has destined this man that the only thing God wants from this particular man is just to be in good terms with me, I will bless you. Mm -hmm. Are you getting me? Mm -hmm. But when a little taste comes, 
you will see that man falling in faith. You will see that man forgetting his past days, his first love with God. Forgetting that even the first 1,000, 100,000 he saw that he didn't go to any Libya to make that money. True. But when circumstances come, he will try to look for people, one or two people, to lay the accusation on that is their problem, that is his problem. Both for that second one, Maggie. Are you getting what yes. I'm saying? Uh -huh. So, but the truth is that they cannot, they don't want to sit down, like he said. They don't want to sit down and understand whom they are first. The power in you. Understand, one, the first thing is, of, a man needs to do is understand whom you are. Mm. Understand the God you are serving. Then there is no other thing that you want in this life that will never come. No man can ever deceive you. As I am, I don't study books. Are you getting me? Yes. But you can't deceive me when it comes to the issue of God. I feel been pastor Okay. With the quotation. So it Hey, my brother. It's not Pastor. It's not good. It's not good. So one thing I am trying to make you understand is this. There was something I told you from the beginning. I told you that the problem of Africans on religion is that it's from foundation. It's foundational. Which made them to see God's occupation to God's uh, offices as occupations. Whereby today, somebody will go and pay. When I mean God, I'm talking about God in general. Yes, the universal being. The universal being. Madi kapo today, gaga ku wo kwa 200,000 kwa wo mo di biya. Mo taya na wo na te giya bag. What are you saying? Chaloko kambi anki ku na ku nishu it. Let me say this. Are you getting me? You mean people pay money? To Why learn, somebody to learn, will go and pay money? I charge you now. I say I charge mechanic. To learn, and I move back. Be a mechanic. Apprentice. That is it. Apprentice. Oh, uh, Abola and apprentice. Do to legend. For real? Are you serious? Abola and apprentice. I know the way I'm on car. This is the first time. If I tell people what they be, for young youths, Monday men school abandon. Oh, hancha ni ne na ikapo ready na. Hancha ne ikom. So half of service. Hancha ba mungu na. Half of this my country na serve with Obi Ochana and Njeda. I'm up in here and. Obi here on the food. You have wait. You have where I can learn this thing. That is what we are telling you. Vision differs. Not the last, my brother. I need the media. Yeah. Ego, 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 ego. Vision differs. Vision differs, yeah. Are you getting? Yeah. People also go and pay to learn pastoring work. Yes. They will get codes. <laughs> my brother, when I pastor in Adi, he is a good scripture. No, go. pastoring work doesn't need much scripture. scripture. For real? Yes. Let me tell you something. Pastoring work needs one orientation. It's not all about the scripture. Mm -hmm. It's not every pastor that knows, how, knows quotation. It's okay, not every orient orientation good. in what in what aspects? Good. Try to understand the problem of your brethren. <laughs> Get church again. Are you getting what I'm saying? Tell me your church. I'm coming on Sunday. I'm telling you the truth. <laughs> I don't know whether you okay, okay, let me give you an instance. Hold mm. on, let me give you an instance. Jesus talked about seed sowing. Yes. Eh? An African man that turned the office of God. Are you getting me? Mm. Into his business. Into an occupation, yes. his own personal business. Yes. Today, that whenever you ask him, sir, what is your occupation? He will tell you, I'm a pastor. Are you okay? Pastor is not an occupation. Even Apostle Paul, there's a place he said in the scripture, he was telling one of the apostles, that if there is anyone among you that doesn't have a handwork, sack him, he's a thief. Oh, no. Still, he is an apostle. Yes. Ordained. Whenever he passes, men are healed. At a point in the scripture, he asked the people, have I ever taken bread from you without paying you? Hey! This is when you want to talk about a man that has calling, that God called to do a work. Yes. He didn't call him for things of the physical. Are you getting what I'm saying? Yes. The only thing that God expected from a man whenever he calls a man is whatsoever that will make you not to answer his call, he will give it to you. I don't know whether you understand what I'm saying. Yes, yes, I'm so, getting the point. But we Africans have taken religion, have taken all those things as a business. Mm. Whereby, that's only means of survival. How do we stop our people from being gullible? Because the thing is that religion has actually eaten deep into our very own being. We don't even know our left from right, and we don't even want to care. All we care about is our pastor said, our imam said, our habali said, Mandina Ekech 250, Shigina Ekech 250, that he said that this one will not happen, that this one. How do we stop our people from being gullible? Arisa, what do you have to say about this? Because okay. I feel like the gullibility of our people is becoming terrible. Is 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 shaming. Okay, yeah. we, we know there is this statement that says that knowledge gives you an edge. Mm -hmm. In anything, knowledge gives you an edge. Mm -hmm. Now, it's not from today that our people became gullible. We can take it back to the days of slave trade. 
Now, if you Google this thing now, you find out that the Arochuku cave, which was a place of worship for the Igbos, was still a slave trade route. For real? Yes. <laughs> nah. Now, let me bring your mind to it. Now, they will bring it like, when the Arochuku, the Dibia in the Arochuku, yes. connived with the slave masters. Mm. This is before colonization. The chief priest. Yes, the chief priest. Mm -hmm. Connived with the slave masters. Now, when they, with, in partnership with the Igwe, the king understands this. Now, when they bring forth someone, they bring forth someone, like someone, you have a problem and you are coming to take an oath mm -hmm. for the deity to do what's past judgment. Mm -hmm. They will take the person inside the cave. Now, kill a ram. The blood will flow on top of the river, flow on the river. And they will feel like, ha, ah, that the deity have killed this person. Then they will follow... There is a the passage. Other, yes, the other corner. routes. Yes. Then they will follow that tunnel, carry the person mm -hmm. and go and give to the white people at the back. <laughs> Actually, there. So, our mind, see, we are channeling this thing to the church, thinking that it's, it didn't start from the church. It starts from the heart of an African man. The heart of an African man is desperately... Let me know, the heart of a man is desperately mm. wicked, but the heart of an African man is so greedy. Right. Yeah, he doesn't care. About course. about anything, what he cares about is what am I getting? What I what am I getting? And what did the slave masters give them in return? Mirrors. Things that if we see now, you even you be like, ah, is it because of this thing they sold by great grand uncle? <laughs> <laughs> yes, but it's just like that. It's just like that. Now Africans, if we for Africans to stop being gullible, we have to first of all be knowledgeable. Knowledgeable. Because what you don't understand, you because, can't even... yes. yes. Anything that you can't understand is... is a, if, if you don't understand... For example, if you don't understand Binance, I enter to Binance, or more, they go scam you. No, man. I'm... If you don't understand Bitcoin, and today you just wake up and be like, ah, Kangame Bitcoin, Kangame Forex. They will scam you because you won't understand there are people there. Uh, but it probably it might not even be scamming. You might even lose, lose the money. money. Yes. You get liquidated. Yes, you just lose the money because you don't understand what you are doing mm -hmm. now we have to be knowledgeable mm -hmm. if you decide okay i want to be a traditionalist mm -hmm. you have to do research in that god you want to go and worship let there be a spirit impactation of that spirit you want to go and worship if you say you want to worship god you have to go and know about god mm -hmm. deep you have to go and know about god mm -hmm. first of all god said that i am at the door of your heart doing what knocking if you open the door, I will enter. I will enter. Meaning that the knowledge of God is there. Is us we like knowledge. I like it. Bring, I don't like uh, it. Yes, we'll be like, uh, God, come, let me teach you how to pray and get no, you. I pray for, pray you for me. Oh, pray for me. Oh. You'll be like, no. Man of God. Pray I like, for me. Come, come and take uh, uh what is it? Olive oil. Olive oil. If you drink three bottles, ah! just drink fifty thousand and one bottle. Uh, and, and give it to me. Yes. Yeah. You like our olive oil. Yeah. <laughs> I usually go yes. on with my own now. Like, yeah, you'll be like, give it to me, let me take. Yes. That knowledge is the problem. And if we refuse knowledge, if knowledge is... Some people don't even know. For example, let us bring it... Most of these boys now, Nebokite. Let us say it. Nebobo. They don't even know the future what repercussion the, yeah, of what I, they are doing. And what the Okite entails. Yes, they don't even know anything. Go and meet our grandfathers in the village. Ask them about Okite, all these things. The, you know that hidden things. There, are, there is one write up that I read online. They tell that hidden things about these things. These things have future repercussions. They don't care. What they want is what is happening now. now you see trendy. the problem. The problem. Nobody wants to gain the knowledge. Mm. If it's knowledge, no. Doings, yes. And doings, they get left. Yes. Knowledge, no. <laughs> doings, yes. If you say knowledge, no, I say, ah, okay, use your knowledge and go and build flats. Doings, no. Pastor, I'm gonna pass down and make better look at all the guys here. Can I go out there? This pastor is good in teaching the scriptures. No, we don't want it. Mm, don't Are want you it. understanding yes. this now? I got now, scripture. We don't want to know God. The hunger to know God or to, to know God should run in the heart of every African man. The hunger to know God. That passion to know God, that drive to know who God is. Mm. That drive. You say that my people perish because of what? Lack of knowledge. Mm. My people perish. Meaning the God even knows this. It, once there is no knowledge, you don't have knowledge. You must perish because knowledge is knowledge is just like knowledge is just like a foundation that you are standing on. Mm. 
You understand? Mm. Knowledge is just like your standing ground to anything. When, let us bring you to the Bible. When the devil came to Christ, he said, Turn bread. Turn stone, turn stone into, into bread. bread. And Christ said, It is written. Everything Christ was saying was, It is what? Written. written. And he has already read the scriptures. Yeah, he took Christ on top of the He said, John, he will send the devil. He said that even the devil knows the scripture. He said, mm -hmm. Even mm -hmm. the devil is knowledgeable. Mm -hmm. He said, John, from that. And he said that he, he, you, have to, he you, have, well, you have to be knowledgeable yeah, to deceive people. Yes, yeah. yes. He said that John from that cliff, he said that he will give his angels charge over you. And Christ told, it is written, don't tempt the Lord thy God. Mm -hmm. Whatever you say, it is written. Mm -hmm. Whatever, any angle mm -hmm. you go to, Christ will tell you is what? Mm -hmm. It is what? Mm -hmm. Written. Meaning that Christ himself was what? Knowledgeable. Mm -hmm. Now you cannot, you say that we are followers of Christ. Now, the Bible said that the word Christian was derived when they saw the followers of Christ in Antioch. That was the first day they called them what? Christians. Why? Because they behaved like Christ. Christ-like. They were Christ-like. And the number one thing about Christ was his wisdom, his knowledge. So what you're saying in this sense is that if you want to stop being gullible, you have to be knowledgeable. You have to be knowledgeable. So you trade your gullibility for knowledge. Yes. All right, so... Vincent, back to you. you know, what do you have to say about this? Uh, actually, his, um, his answer generalized everything because the problem of we, our people generally, Africans. Is, is, we Africans, mm -hmm. is equally that same knowledge. Are you getting? Mm. Nobody is willing to pay the price and know his God. True. Are you getting me? Yeah. Africans have one mentality. They find it hard to understand that. The high time Africans understood that that God they are going for somewhere else is not far from them. That is what Jesus was equally making every, trying to make everybody understand in life. But Africans don't believe in anything God when there is no symbols and objects. Are you getting me? Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. They don't feel secure. They still feel insecure. See an average African woman or not, she will have a problem. Are you getting mm. me? In the church, she was baptized though. Everything I know, I mean, I told you, I mean, I confession. But I when confirmation. she has problem and there is no mm. olive oil, she can't fight that thing. She tells you, you're young, you're not a job more. Maybe not, maybe not. Up at I hear something, you hear you can have a baby there. Yes. Or feel you're not a job more. He or she will find it very hard to pray. As a Christian, you claim to be Christ-like. Mm. Are you getting what I'm saying? You will saying. find it hard to pray. Because mm. 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 Are you getting me? Mm. He can't do it. He believes that his power is based on that oil on that and that holy water. Mm. And that oil and holy water, those ones that made it available, that took it as a business, is ripping them from there. That is what Jesus is saying. It got to a point in the scripture, Apostle Paul said to the people, that when he passed, he saw them making prayers with an unclean things, with symbols and statues. Are you getting me? Mm -hmm. Now he tried to clear them that there is no power within this. Mm -hmm. And God doesn't answer prayers through such avenue. Mm -hmm. That the only thing God wants from us currently today is what? He is in you. And you are what? For you to be in him, for him to be in you. Yes. Wherever you go, He's pray in the you. name of Jesus. Yes. He's there to answer your prayers. Mm -hmm. But when a man prays today in the name of Jesus without applying the holy oil you given to him by the pastor, he has not prayed. To this, they are no more worshipping God. They are worshipping their pastors. Are you getting me? Some. Uh, listen, mm. you know, uh, in this uh, explanation, it's like you are taking it to. Christianity alone. Mm. I want okay, us no. to diversify it. No, 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 no. Know? I'm equally coming to that of tradition. Okay. Are you getting me? Because, yes. Same with a, a man that believes in tradition. Mm -hmm. There are so many people today that they don't go to church. Are you getting me? Mm -hmm. But not within them, they say they believe in Omenad. Money when something is again within them. Mm -hmm. I fear you need more fear, which is equally what I'm telling you, is centered in the same lack of knowledge. Mm -hmm. Are you getting me? Which yes. our people need to be taught. Mm -hmm. To understand one, the God they are serving. To be taught to understand the own yes. Because so many things that in the tradition believe in. He created it all. 
Mana, and when some people are not into tradition today, that no bruni here may I hang around and keep the war, but they are here. Who go? When they were things, you have to You can do on your own. The God has created the traditional as a traditionalist. You are supposed to you be knowledgeable are, of that thing. You see, when knowledge of it, yes. so that in here, maybe maybe you name one more phone now and I send a cook on a don't want it. Are you getting me? Yes. Some of them equally believe that no bruni alone and keep the war. I got a bell on one. But the 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 cook part. I get him. I cook. I get him. I am born. Epilepsy. Yes. Epilepsy. Also, ni hot dog. I don't want it. Conversion. Do you want it? Sorry, not epilepsy. Conversion. Okay, conversion. Yes. Conversion. Are you getting me? Some of them, anyway, things as an evil man that you can use to stop such situation. For? Are you getting me? Anyway, lozaki. Anyway, manuaki. Manani. What people from manuaki na kusu do? Man, an evil man will not have it when such a thing happens to that. Otso Oliver. Otso ban ke dibi aga abu abu age dipo se. No, but no. Otso ban ke dibi aga abu abu age it can be resolved. The same thing with a Christian. They don't believe in what they have. Are you getting what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. They don't believe in what is given to them, what is around them. An African man cherishes what is far from him. Mm -hmm. than what is a, whatever that is around him is fake. He's suspicious. Is his problem. Well. But he doesn't know that that is where his solution is. Mm -hmm. I don't know whether you understand. Um, yes, I'm, he doesn't I'm know that you. that is where his solution is. Mm -hmm. But at the other, in the other way around, he can never be satisfied. If Nobu no Garon and that man of God will be see that mm -hmm. he will never be satisfied, he won't be healed. Yes. I don't think you understand. I understand what you're saying. But he forgot that the purpose of Jesus coming to die is to give everybody the right to the Father. That wherever you are, in the name of God, yes, is your sense. First, our people need to be taught. You know what caused all those things? I, we, sometimes people blame our parents. I don't mm. blame our parents. You mm -hmm. know why? For real? The reason is that the reason why I don't blame our parents is that our parents don't know God. The God they are serving one, yes. and it's not their own fault because even their own parents didn't teach them. Mm. In the olden days, in the time of old, then were Roka. When a child is born, I get trained near through the way of no uh, tradition. I get trained near through the way of tradition. And you know the, 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 the roots. He will be taught about this particular deity. Uh -huh. That's in every morning. Nna go bojo akoko omo ya goji. Yes. Okuze no hanem we have the key to be goji na ebe lo. Eh go eh Vincent, this thing that you are trying to explain now, you know is very very delicate. Yes. I want you to explain it in English so that our viewers out there okay. do you understand. What I'm trying to say is this, uh -huh. eh? Our people need to be taught first. The mm -hmm. problem of the people, our people, sometimes people normally say that it's the parents. No it's more. not the parents. Mm -hmm. Why? Like we said, our people need to be taught. Our parents doesn't know God. Because their parents didn't because teach them. Because even their own parents didn't teach them. Yes. Are you getting me? Mm -hmm. Forget that we are, they are called parents. During their own useful age, even them as they are now as a parent, ask a parent, even the one usually living around you, when was the last he prayed to his God? His own chi. His own chi. That God he's serving. Whether you are, you, are, you are a Muslim or you are a Christian or you are a traditional, when was the last? You, you, as a traditionalist, you brought all chi, which is your means of communicating with God. Mm -hmm. for, for us, Igbos, actually. For us, Igbos. Are you getting me? Yes. But Igbos believes in prayer. Igoji. Mm -hmm. There is nothing an evil man will ever do that the name of God will not come, yes. even as the chief priest. Mm -hmm. Are you getting me? The people of the old taught our fathers that same way. Mm -hmm. That's why when they were growing, that's why we were able to know that name when he had the he had the child. Name when he had the cause, he had the baby. Name when he had the baby, he had the baby. Name when he had the baby, he had the baby. Name when he had the baby, he had the baby. Are you getting me? Name when he had the baby, he had the baby. No, no, no. But today, how many of us knows it? Our parents were not taught. That is where our problem came from. Which is foundational. That's where I am still taking it back to. We were not taught. Are you getting me? We are still yet to be taught. To understand. That our problems are not far from us. Don't, don't be angry that I'm trying to take this, but I feel like I have this question I want to ask. Sure. The reason why uh, the future, the, 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 the moral decadence mm. that we are facing now, you know that the, the, our, our Gen Z, yes. at least our Gen Z, mm. 
the 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 the, the, the evil that we do. There are more social the, the the terrible things that we do. Mm-hmm. Do you understand? Is it that because we don't know our roots? Do you understand? Is it the cause of these problems that we are facing now? Because you see, you, when you talked about uh, people not knowing where they are coming from and what is, uh, what is it called? You said halo and stuff, uh-huh. abomination. Is it, the, is it that due to the fact that we don't know where we are coming from, we tend to flaunt everything, like we tend to do as we wish, we tend to do as we like, without even caring about, do you understand what I'm saying? What's going on? Yes. It's one of the major problems. So you can link religion to the moral decadence that we're facing now, right? Yes. yes. Explain. See, let me tell you something. Mm. When a child is being taught good and bad, when a law is given, mm-hmm. Are you getting me? Yeah. There is persecution. But when there is no law, the people perish. The people live lawless. Yes. Are you getting me? Yeah. Good. Now, like we said before, when a man is being taught, he is taught to... Let me tell you what we... I Personally, what I mean by being taught to know the God you serve. Mm-hmm. Are you getting me? Mm-hmm. Knowing the God you serve is being in fearness, that is being fearful of his presence around you. Mm. One. Are you getting me? Knowing mm. the God you serve is knowing the rules and regulations about this God. Yes. There are things, ways of life that people portray, mm. that people live. There are ways people live. But they don't know that this way of life, are you getting me? Yeah. Is against his own God. I don't know whether you understand. I understand what you're saying. He doesn't know that this way of life is against his God. To this, every man born, listen, let me tell you, every man born, there is a spirit assigned to him. True. Are you getting me? Fox. But there is something you will do, that spirit will live. Right? Yes. Mm-hmm. And once that spirit lives, you are bound to destruction. Anything can happen to you. Mm-hmm. Many are living such life. Are you getting me? Yeah. Which they are not supposed to. The only thing they need in their life, only people in this life that equal hog or not, naturally equal harm or They will ham affect ham. them, yes. Are you getting me? But, and the reason why OGD or not, they were keeping the laws, the rules and regulations of the spirit they are worshipping, that spirit they are God. Whenever they go contrary to that thing that they believe in, yes. Mm-hmm. Are you getting me? Yes. The spirit will depart, will back them. Whatever you do to them will penetrate. Because their protector is no more with, with them. them. Yes. Are you getting me? Yes. Good. So, but when a man comes to understand, first of all, mm. whom he is, crime will reduce. Mm. Men will have conscience. Mm. People will no more be really living religiously. Mm-hmm. He will live to defend that God he is serving. Are you getting me? Mm. Let me tell you something. The reason why there are many uh, corruptions, crime everywhere, when you see this one, there is homosexual, there is this mm-hmm. one, the other one. Mm-hmm. Religion mm. is part of it. Is, let me say, religion is seventy percent of of it. Mm. In fact, religion is one is one of the inventories of homosexual. Mm. All right. Because even in the church today, even in the Omenani today, there are so many DBS today that are into such acts, which is equally against. The tradition. the tradition. How do you expect the spirit to be there? The main spirit that owns the land to remain there when it has been defiled. That's Instead, true. it has been turned into a place of business whereby, let me tell you, even in the church, mm-hmm. see, to me, all those things can never be corrected. Why? Because the scripture is fulfilling. It is written that a day like this will come, oh that things like this will happen. It can never be corrected. We are moving ahead. So you believe that this... Are you getting it? Yeah, so you Ooh. believe that there is no no remedy to what's going on. See, let me tell you something. Instead of there to be a remedy to what is going on, mm. okay, the ekose, and other things, mm. so there will be multiplication. Because Bible has already said it, that at the end, the evil shall multiply. Are you getting me? Yeah. And knowledge too shall multiply. Ina anu ku maaru nke ni inu before before ina anu bu no homosexual no e pass o e ba e ni mena ni bidodi bi abo wa homo o mo te be go mo e ba e pass o bidodi bi abo wa homo 
Time shall come when you will start hearing a different update. Are you getting me? This is multiplication of men in knowledge. Are you getting me? Yeah. In a devilish way. Men in that of the Christian way, the mm. church, mm. are you getting Christ me? Yes. Are equally multiplying in their own knowledge mm -hmm. to counter that of the evil. But the multiplication of men in knowledge in that of the Christian side is not given to the church. That is the reason why the church can't make any reference to the life of men. The church cannot change a man. For real? Are you getting me? Mm. You today, you are going to church now. Mm -hmm. Since you were born, you, were go you have been going to church. Gar -kat -kiz in Gar -kat -kiz Gar -kat -kiz in yes, I went to everything. Are you born again? How, Why didn't church wait, change wait, you? Wait, that try, wait. wait, you are trying to put me on the spotlight. Am I born again? That is it. Look at me, look at me, look at me <laughs> properly. Am I born again? No, if you want to defend born again... Let no, tell me now, because you are putting me on the spotlight now. So, you are saying, am I born again? No, the reason why we need to start with ourselves, one, is because when we talk about Africans, we are equally Africans. We are Africans, yeah. Are you getting mm -hmm. me? Good. But when I say, the reason why I said, are you born again, is because many people in life today, because they know the name Jesus... They claim they are born again. But mm. ask them a question. Are you getting me? You will see that they will only defend their thought, but they can't defend that word, born again. Born again. Ask them what is born again only. Right, so, this same thing now, and I'm now talking to you directly. Why? He said that uh, not knowing your roots is also part of the current uh, moral decadence that we're facing. But... What do you feel? Like, what's your own view? Okay. Mm. Now, if we want to talk about moral decadence, we are talking about value. Mm -hmm. So that value can be defined as anything that influences your decision making, yes. mm -hmm. your actions, whatever you do, that's value. Now, we look into where this value is formulated. Now, let me use us, let's be practical. When mm -hmm. we are going up from the home, we are taught values. Mm -hmm. We move to the church. The church helps. That's the religious mm. institution. Be it tradition, tradition yes. be it Muslim. It helps yes. in what value formation of the child. Mm. Then the school. Now, if we look at the present day, all these institutions is corrupted. True. Fact. From the family, which is the first unit of socialization. Mm. Yes. So you believe that the family is corrupted? Yes, family is corrupted. Yes. If the father will stay in front of the child, hello? Nakabeno, he's in the bathroom. Yeah, he's lying in front of the child. Tomorrow he will flog the child for lying. Yes. Can't you see that the family is corrupted? Now we move to the religion, the religious institution. Let me I will use Christianity because I was a Christian. Mm. I was like I'm a Christian. Yeah, Christian. Sorry, I'm a Christian. <laughs> I was born a Christian, that's what I want to say. Mm. I'm a Christian. So now in the church. Moral, the morality in the church have done what? It is decreasing. If you enter the church, anything is happening in the church. Sometimes you even see where they are, we invite worldly singers to come and perform in the church. Yeah. Now, even the pastor mm -hmm. is sleeping with members. With members. Don't loud it, sir. Yes, some don't pastors are sleeping with members. Don't loud it, don't it's, loud some, it's not something new. Sir, it please, don't loud it, don't loud it. Hey, you it off your mic, off <laughs> your mic. You see it every day in social media. Now, if I'm sleeping with you, what do I have to teach you for you to learn? Yes. You don't have anything like, you, you, I cannot change, you cannot change me again. Now, you see that the church itself, in that value orientation, is having a serious problem. The school, the lecturers are collecting bribe. bribe. The don't government. Don't loud it, don't loud it. The government is even the center of every corruption. <laughs> so, which one? Where is the young African man, the young Nigerian? Where will he learn value from? Yes. You see that it's becoming hard. Now, we are looking into the religious aspect. Now, the white people brought in, they brought in doctrine, I will not call it Christianity. Because if you trace, I'm an international relations student, mm -hmm. so I know what I'm telling you. Mm -hmm. When they were coming, when the white people wanted to penetrate Africa, mm -hmm. their kings told them, if you reach there, they have their juju, avoid their juju. Give them, there's what they used to call slave Bible. Give them this Bible. This Bible had some omissions. From the main Bible. From the main Bible. Some omissions. Well, the only thing in the Bible is that, ah, about to um, respect your slave masters, respect your, yes, they brought in what? 
doctrine, something that was doctorated by a man, yes. and not the word of God, and not Christianity to Africa. Now, they brought it in and demonized our culture, and that our culture has value. In our culture, an also cannot stand somewhere and lie. You die. If you lie, you die. You die. In our culture, you cannot sleep with somebody's wife. Yes. You die. Or you get banished. Yes. yes. In our culture, a child is trained to respect an elder. Oh, we are in the mm -hmm. You understand? The child is for everyone. If you must respect anybody you see, that's why even to now, anybody you see in Africa, you call him daddy. Mm -hmm. uh, it's not like that in the white. Mm -hmm. So in the Western world, is not like that. So you yeah, are daddy, yeah, daddy, yeah, daddy. Because we are trained to respect our what? Elder. Now, because we don't have that value formation, it is not rigid. Now, Civilization wasn't the whole process. With the introduction of global integration coming from social media. Yes. Now the world is becoming one. I can stay here now, turn my TikTok and see what is happening in London or Twitter, mm -hmm. get information. Now, now the more what you watch, the Bible calls it the loss of the eyes. Yes. What you watch forms something inside of you. you. Anything yeah. you see. In, it has something it's something is happening inside of you as you are, as you are doing what yeah, watching that stuff yes. now because we're not rigid in value mm -hmm. our culture has been demonized by the whites don't if you go into the bush and collect something it is demon but if you drink paracetamol it is <laughs> what uh, it is heavenly <laughs> yes now it has been demonized true now if you look at the progress that india is making you see that they are using what their understanding of their culture, their understanding of their herbs, and their medical line is one of the best to today. Even our politicians. Go there for... Even some of our pastors. Go there for treatment. Go there for treatment. Yes. You see that we don't understand our left and right. Yeah, exactly. Now, if we look at that global integration, you, on your TikTok, what is trending now? Everybody wants to be a body. Everybody is putting their phone. Everybody, yes, yeah, selling challenge. Selling challenge. Everybody wants to be a baddie. Everybody but, wants to but, be but, a baddie. But my brother, let me not cut you short. Okay. Oh, they were there. <laughs> let's, let's continue. Selling challenge. Yes. Everybody wants to be a baddie. Yes. Now, we, are, we don't understand that. They say that it's trending, being baddie. All these things is gotten from what? It's got is the United America. Yes. America is, if you understand mm. America, America is a group of this. Uh, you hear. Indies, they are called Western Indies. You bring Westerners, Europeans, mm -hmm. you bring black people that was brought there. Everybody yes, merged together. They, yes, there is multicultural and they don't understand. Like, they are more patriotic to their country than cultural. They, that means, I'm not saying that America mm -hmm. doesn't have value, but they don't have, most of them don't have like cultures like Africa. Africa mm -hmm. is more cultural. They mm -hmm. have their own culture, but Africa is more cultural. Now, a young girl wants to be a body. A young girl wants to be a body. She a wants Gen to Z go body. naked. A Gen Z body. She wants to go naked. And show everybody. Show everybody. She wants to copy what she's seen. True. She wants to trend. She wants to be applauded. Like, because everybody wants to be applauded. I she have seen. It's not only through education that I can be applauded. I can go naked on TikTok and see people saying hot body. Ah, you're so beautiful. Hey, come. <laughs> you understand? I don't get go naked. She wants on. to be applauded. Now, she will change. Mm -hmm. That is why Chinese now it's not the TikTok we use in Africa that Chinese use. Right? Yes, they regulate their TikTok. You can't see anything that except something that is educational there. Yes. And you see all this China, India, they do what they oppose their culture. Even if you watch their movies, they oppose what? Their culture. The problem with Africa is our culture is dying. Even those that are saying traditional belief. If anybody is saying that you're saying traditional belief, she's just shouting traditional belief because yes. she wants to use Kayamata. Exactly. A young man that is shouting traditional belief is just shouting traditional because he wants to carry Okite. Yes. For real? Yes. You are shouting traditional. You want to carry Okite, go to the club, go naked yeah. with a lady. Going naked with a lady inside the club, is it part of the traditional belief? That is it. <laughs> it's not shocking. Yeah. Yes. Like wait, like they what I'm trying to say is that they have selected the they want they want to believe. Yes. yes. Now, if you want to go into traditional belief in total, you have to do everything in that traditional belief, knowing that an evil woman don't supposed to be naked. Another man that is not your husband should not see your what nakedness. nakedness. We are not rigid with our culture. Our culture is doing what dying. It's, it's not water tight. It's not it's, our culture is dying. Now and in our culture is our value. Yes. In our culture is our morality, is our value. 
They have demonized our culture. All right. Well, <clears throat> this topic, shall we? We're not going to finish up today. But then again, we'll be ending it here. And I want to say a big thank you to Vicent and Arunze. You. you guys actually gave it to us hot thoughts. But we'll end this topic today because we'll still revisit it another day. And you know that you should follow us on Facebook, our Facebook page, Talk underscore Active. And then follow us on Instagram, Talk Active. And then follow us on YouTube. Make sure you watch our videos, click uh, like, and then subscribe. Thank you for being with us today. I hope you enjoyed this <laughs> this wonderful buzz buzz. These people are giving me it. All right. I hope you had fun and enjoyed viewing. Thank you and stay blessed.